My money is over 300,000 Ghana cities. Now, because of this, my, my junior brother has to stop his uh, schooling. My children, they are school fees because my husband's money too is there. It was an investment we saw over five years. Abena is a mother of three who kept all her and life savings he in defunct gold license. dealership firm, Men's fault? Gold. She is agitated over government's seeming disinterest in helping customers retrieve their locked up funds. It's been three years since the Securities and Exchange Commission ordered the closure of the firm, which traded in gold collectibles. The pinch of the closure is felt most by the customers in various ways. I was having a severe, severe pains on the eye, but I was using that during time I was working and other stuff, so I used to buy medication, go to work. Since the company collapsed, 35-year-old Stephen Abwaje has not only lost his job as a brand's promotion consultant, but he's lost his sight also. Go to hospital, checkups and other stuff. So the thing came severe, so they supposed to, I supposed to go to hospital and they transferred me to Kualibu. So as they transferred me to Kualibu, they told me that surgery was not made, they cannot do it at Kualibu unless India. So I asked the bill and we check everything. So I thought I would get money to India for the surgery. I try my best, I'm there living and then the eye just went off. Right now, I don't know what to do because I don't have any place to go again. And nowadays, I don't have money to rent anymore. So I used to live with my chairman's uh, house, with my wife, yes, and my boy. I have one kid. Several demonstrations against embattled men's gold CEO Nana Apia Mensa, aka Nam One, have not been successful in getting the monies released. Even though Namwan is facing criminal prosecution over the matter, the customers say it is just a decoy to prevent them from getting their monies. Fred Forson speaks for the customers. Go to court for three years. In fact, as we speak, there is no charge against Namwan. As we speak. Because the initial 61 or 62 charges that were preferred against him were dropped. And so the prosecution says, we are doing investigation, we have dropped, we want to increase, we want to change the charge as we speak. So now one is working free, he only reports at the CID every Wednesday within a week or something. They want parliament to institute a bipartisan probe into the closure of men's gold and facilitate the retrieval of their locked up funds. We have seen, we have learned through the letters that said did not follow the due process in shutting down. That's why we are saying that don't. That's why we are calling for an investigation into the closure. Because we believe that something went amiss. Something really went amiss. And very soon the truth will come out. So that's why we, uh, we are urging parliament. Yes, let them in court play the dealing darling with the case, the criminal matter. But let's look at the civil issue. The civil matter is key. For now, all they have is look on as their investments continue to be locked away. Manuel Kranting, Joy News, Accra.